So, people, I would like you to give me your best guess. Guess in the comment section of this video where this came from, how much it cost, and who made it. I want you to tell me what designer designed and made this necklace by hand, how much money it cost, and where these um, rocks and stones came from. Please let me know because I want one just like it for my girlfriend. Oh if, yeah. If you if you guess, we'll give you a hundred dollars. Um, if you guess right. We will not give you a hundred dollars. We'll but you if you want one of bead. these. We'll give you a bead. We'll give you one. I can tell you where you can get one for a hundred dollars. When two Petaluma police officers attempted to beat me to death, I was left on the ground. And there was something kind of missing, but kind of near my body. And it was a very important item. It was a necklace I had made myself. A police officer that had arrived to rescue me and take me to the hospital to be treated for my injuries, said he was going to put this necklace in his pocket for safekeeping. I never saw my necklace again. When my lawyer requested my personal property to be returned and the necklace was not included, I asked him to specifically ask for my necklace to be returned. And the Petaluma Police Department's responses were, um, what necklace? We didn't confiscate a necklace. We don't know anything about a necklace. So the necklace in question was one that I had made myself. And it was made by me with beads I purchased and a pendant that I purchased in Humboldt County, California. And the pendant had um, a Muslim prayer and Arabic writing on it. So I went to a store and I bought a pendant made by the same company and they did not have the one with the Muslim prayer but they had one with the hand of Fatima and I have um, made a new necklace. Similar to, but kind of worse and also better than the one that the police like ripped off my neck and some officer put in his pocket and confiscated from me. Like, where's my necklace? I want my necklace back. So this is my new necklace. They didn't have the one with the prayer, but they had the hand of Fatima. But the beads are, like, much more valuable than the ones that were on my ripped-off necklace. I want my necklace back. Please give me my necklace back. Why have you not given me my necklace back? You just broke the silence. So, people, I would like you to give me your best guess. Guess in the comment section of this video where this came from, how much it cost, and who made it. I want you to tell me what designer designed and made this necklace by hand, how much money it cost, and where these um, rocks and stones came from. Please let me know because I want one just like it for my girlfriend. Oh, if, yeah. If you, if you guess, we'll give you a hundred dollars. Um, if you guess right. We will not give you a hundred dollars, we'll but if you, you want one of bead. these, 
We'll give you a bead. We'll give you one. I can eight. tell you where you can get one for $800. Hello, people. I am in the city of Arcata, California. And I am about to stop recording because my phone is ringing in my pocket. If I had enough money, I would go actual shopping, not window shopping. Look at these cool clothes that they're selling here. I'm not even going to go in this building. I'm afraid it isn't earthquake safe. But isn't it cool? They sell such awesome stuff in stores around the Arcata Plaza. Mushrooms are apparently... <laughs> Very popular. Do they have the warning sign? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. I'm fantastic. Mom, TV. Um, YouTube. Oh yeah, hey yo, it's Buck Nasty, Humboldt County, 2023. Peace and love, everybody. Thank you. How are you feeling? Good. Right on. I was um just getting a video of this beautiful old and probably not very earthquake safe hotel and the beautiful cherry trees blooming and the Arcadia Plaza's beautiful palm trees and I seem to be going in a circle right now well that was an interesting interlude in the middle of my video beautiful aren't they and this is now sleep world or hot knots it's hot knots and over here is sleep world see that and continuing on I will eventually get to the bead store. After I pass pivotal connections. <laughs> well, that's a nice thing to see while window shopping. Solutions used to be down there at the end. And there's like apartments above all these buildings. Wow. Courage, build it. Am I getting to the store? Oh yes, I am getting to the store. <laughs> this is the beads. You like buy the beads and make necklaces here or buy the beads and take them home to make your own necklaces at home. I love this store. It used to be in Eureka. It might still be in Eureka. Do you still have a Eureka location? We've never been in Eureka location. We've always been in Arcata. Oh, really? Yes. Apparently, I was wrong. Anyway, I'm going to um, either buy the beads to make a necklace or make a necklace, but probably I'm going to buy the beads because my boyfriend didn't understand what I was saying when I said I was walking down here and called me seconds later to say, where are you? If I had enough money, I would buy like this really, really, really nice, expensive turquoise <laughs> because it's beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. Like that one, especially, is so beautiful. It's like a case where they just have the more expensive beads. Yeah, I know. It's nice. All right, you're all set. Only little guys are in there. Look. That's for you, Jean. I'm going to make my bracelet out of it. Um, wants me to make a bracelet out of And this is the Arcata Plaza. Right now. Today. Today it's the Arcata Plaza and there's an American flag. And several other flags. I think they voted to put wait a minute, the Earth wait a minute, Mommy, flag on video. top. Wait a minute. Don't, 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 don't stop recording. Me, I hope everybody's excited about the new Link games. It's going to come out, Link 2, um, Breath of the Wild. 
I'm okay, Eugene, too. what's on your shirt? Is it milk? <laughs> anyway, this is the Arcata Plaza in Arcata, California. And this is Jacoby's Storehouse. I won't. Where I said and these are people who appear to be tourists. That's a lot of poop. All right, let's go. And that um, appears to be poop or puke, which is um, disgusting. And um, we are now going to leave. Please don't delete. Oh, I won't. Isn't this pretty? I'm pretty sure that this bead shop has some kind of machine where they can take any kind of rock and turn it into a bead. They're like all always like irregularly sized with a beautiful hole in the center and smooth. No matter what kind of rock they're made of, the only rough ones are these ones made of volcanic rock. These are mostly made out of beach glass. They're the ones that everyone picked out because they were pink. And these are the large ones Eugene picked out. Oh yeah, they can actually like custom make beads too. They'll make you ones with bigger holes. The ones in the baggie are the ones that were really expensive that I had to get from inside of a case. And they gave me a few free beads. And I'm pretty sure they gave this to everyone, but we might have bought it. I don't even know. She threw in one free bead and I said, oh no, to make my necklace symmetrical, I need two free beads. So she threw in another free bead. One of the expensive ones. Soon I will have a necklace with this on it. They didn't have the exact, exact one that the police ripped off my neck when they arrested me and pocketed and stole, but this one's good enough. So you made this based on a pattern that you found on the internet or in a uh, YouTube video? What we should make. It was just what you could make. Well, it's very interesting. And I made this. Like, it looks really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Like, if I said I just went out and bought this for $195 or $995 to go with my new... $20,000 green Ramadan dress. People would believe me. It looks that good. I made this in the last, like, two hours. Isn't this amazing? I used rock, including volcanic rock beads. Because I thought that, like, since I was making a Muslim necklace, that what better way to honor Allah than using um, rocks that he created. That looks good. Yeah. Before I end this video, I want to show you this. This is a necklace I made like years ago with these beautiful, beautiful mini turquoise pebbles like look at them they're beautiful they're like naturally occurring mini turquoise pebbles and they did a really really good job of drawing the holes through them kind of a little bit more um evenly and centered than the um similar looking pebbles I recently purchased today. Isn't this nice? It was one of my favorite necklaces that I made for myself. I got this 
and then I specifically sourced out turquoise pebbles, like these little ones and these beads. I think I bought some of them from that heartbeat place and some of them from the um, gem and mineral show. I think I actually bought these from two different gem and mineral shows. But eventually I will put this back together and make it into a necklace again. Isn't this nice? Look at that. It's really, 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 really beautiful. And look at the different like shade of turquoise on the brooch and the pebbles. They're like from two different places. And at some point I probably had some card saying exactly where these were from because when you buy things from like a gem and mineral show they always give you like a card saying exactly like what mine it's from. I might still have it in my bedroom somewhere in a drawer and I might still have a few more of these. But isn't that cool? Maybe I should start up a jewelry company. If anyone wants a necklace, tell me in the comment section of this video what you want. And I will make it for you. Look at that. That is so cool. How they're two different shades. It's like this one's almost green. And this one is like a bright blue or a light blue. Look at that. Wow. So cool. I love looking at them. That's why I bought them. I didn't buy them because I love wearing jewelry. I bought them because I love looking at them. Cool, huh? I love it. I should start a jewelry company. If you want something like that or like this, just, just tell me. I will, like, go shopping. If you pay me in advance, I will go shopping and send it to you. I'm apparently very good at making them. And I love the um, blue and greens. Those are my favorite colors to use. I can also like find rocks on the coast of California. If you want something that like can only be found on the coast of California, I can like go find it. And apparently I cannot end this video without um, an epilogue because apparently those flags I filmed in Arcata are controversial and made the North Coast Journal. So, um, really quickly, I'm going to um, show you that Dave Meserve's measure to put the earth on top um, is controversial and possibly unconstitutional. And by the way, he's the one that did the um, concrete um, that was meant to look like a slab, but is not a slab around room C and D. And my post about this is what caused a uh, certain other local reporter to not watch my video where I sarcastically pretended the earth was flat and actually post that I made videos that the earth was really flat in response to my post about um, Dave Mazur was putting the earth on top. I mean, this sounds like some convoluted nonsense, but it really is the rabbit hole. It really is. I am not going to explain this in great detail right now. I just wanted to show you this because I picked up this newspaper in town. And, you know, I, I've been around a while. And I've lived in town a while. And the town threw down on me, people. The person who made this flag fly, who caused this controversy and this article to be published, is the person who um, 
kind of said that he fixed my house in a way that he really did not. And faked it by people for all this time. It is now dark. And the reason that it is now dark is because I, um, have to, um, add something to my epilogue, but I cannot show the picture. Because, um, there was a, um, a letter to the editor that was posted in the North Coast Journal saying that somebody hoped that Adrian Florine and her boyfriend would end up in the hospital with a certain disease and it would be too late for them to get the vaccine and described like us choking and gagging and um potentially dying and when it was originally published in the North Coast Journal it was published in their printed newspaper but on their website on top was Dave Meserve wants to put the earth on top um for our children to protect our children that's what he said in his um article he wrote that they put on top of the letter describing how me and my boyfriend should die. And below us, there was a political cartoon that I cannot show, which is why this video is black right now. Because it was a political cartoon that looked like it could have um, been more appropriately published in a certain French newspaper that I'm not going to name, making fun of the Uyghur Muslims being put in death camps so their organs could be harvested. The blackout's over. It's this. I don't recommend looking at it, but if you want to know what I'm talking about, look at it. It's despicable, but what do you expect from a newspaper that writes full-page editorials defending their anti-Semitic cartoons?